names like Boy Toy, Okie Doki, and TikTok. Quirky names for quirky accessories. These sunglasses come in various sizes and with different frames. What they all have in common is that they're asymmetric. They're designed by Jürgen Meyer H. He's actually an architect. This is the first time he's designed a range of sunglasses. These sunglasses challenge the standards and norms we're used to with glasses. We expect them to be symmetrical, but actually the lack of symmetry between the two sides of the face is what makes someone beautiful. And that's what we wanted to emphasize with the sunglasses. For the last 15 years, Jürgen Meyer H has been experimenting with forms and designing award-winning buildings all over the world. He's also an acclaimed product designer. Some of his accessories and furniture have even found their way into museums. Our work is very sculptural. We like to look at the interplay between technology, nature and the body and the forms of communication taking place within these three parameters. Jürgen Meyer H. first tried out various ideas on his computer before coming up with the five designs that make up the collection. He developed numerous prototypes and rejected ones that seemed a bit over the top. The idea for the collection came to him purely by chance. The first time I thought about sunglasses was when I was on the phone and started drawing glasses onto people's faces in a magazine while I was talking. Then I suddenly got interested in the idea and started playing around with the asymmetric look. It was almost like a reflex action, the sort of doodling you do when you're on the phone. Jürgen Meyer H. designed this limited edition line for the label IC Berlin. They cost 299 euros per pair. IC Berlin sunglasses are light and very flexible. They don't have any screws. They are secured with a prize-winning fastener. Ralf Andel is the founder of IC Berlin and frequently works with partners who hail from other creative industries. The suggestion came from some friends who said that Jürgen Meyer was an extremely talented architect who's on his way up right now, and I'm very open to unusual collaborations. When I work with people, my first priority is always to guarantee maximum freedom. I tell them they can do what they want, and we'll bend over backwards to make it work. The sunglasses are handmade in the in-house workshop. They're geared towards customers who want to stand out and be noticed. Sunglasses are a bit like a mask. They're the final flourish for anyone who likes to make an entrance. They give you store quality. And a good pair of sunglasses that you feel comfortable in will ensure you can get past any bouncer looking so cool and elegant that he won't dare talk to you. At nighttime, sunglasses are the perfect accessory because they give you that special look. The sunglasses sold out within weeks of their launch. New models are currently in production. So what kind of people actually dare wear this sort of thing? They're definitely extroverted people, the kind who like the limelight. And they want their sunglasses to be a statement to the world, a talking point and an invitation. So people come up to them and say, hey, those are wild glasses. And then you get talking. Asymmetric sunglasses. The guardians of style in some places might not like them. But here in Berlin, anything goes.